I'm Donald Roger. I'm an arboricultural consultant. I'm here today to carry out a survey of the of the trees uh, in the park here. We've got a very fine line of very old trees here, a mixture of oak, um, ash, beech, sycamore. Very fairly typical mixture that we find in this part of, of the city. Uh, but very old feature here and very prominent on the skyline. Um, so I'm really here today really just to carry out a full survey. Uh, to really just assess what's here, what condition they're in, and more importantly, what any work needs done uh, in terms of make, making sure that they're safe uh, for people to visit here. Yes, as trees age, they uh, tend to develop all sorts of problems and issues. Uh, very commonly, they, they suffer from decay, um, or, or there could be structural defects or splits or cracks, or they could just be generally in decline. So I think it's very important to, to make sure that the tree stock is properly looked after and properly managed for the future. So really today I'm just really carrying out a lot of uh, survey work, just gathering lots of information and data on each individual tree. Uh, they're all numbered, they're all plotted on a plan, and I'm gathering information on this uh, little, little um, uh, computer here with a database on it, which gathers information relating to the, the species of the tree, its size, its age, uh, noting any defects or problems, uh, and recommend any appropriate action and also trying to prioritise that action as well to help in the longer term management. The field was previously used for horse grazing uh, and unfortunately this can often come into conflict with the trees as you can quite clearly see here. This is a classic example of, of horse damage to a fairly mature ash tree. You can see where the bark has just been completely stripped off. In fact I can even see the, the teeth marks where, where the horses have had a go at it. This is on a lot of the trees on the site unfortunately and is causing a, a serious problem for them in the long term. This is a good example of uh, some well-established decay on one of the horse chestnuts. You can see here this very large wound, which over time the, the underlying wood has just started to rot and decay away. You can see a colony of uh, fungus growing on it that is actively decaying the wood. So this is creating a serious defect on this particular tree. This is causing a real weakness in the trunk at this point. And there is always a risk that this tree could just fail here and collapse uh, uh, over, the, over the path. So this is the sort of defects and problems I've been looking for, and this is a very clear and obvious one. But having said that, these sometimes these old wounds and um, the areas of decay are actually very valuable from a wildlife habitat point of view. And you can see already there's all sorts of cracks and nooks and crannies and holes developing, and these are very often home to all sorts of insects and various wildlife. So whilst they are a problem as far as the trees concerned in terms of their, their structural safety, they do provide a, a useful habitat and it's all part of the natural decay process of trees. So hopefully with this particular specimen here, um, what I will be recommending perhaps is to reduce the weight of the canopy so that we can allow this tree to be safely retained for the future.